Come on, about four and just let them. <laughs> How old is it going today? Lord of the Kingdom, my name is Wayne. My name is Jess. Welcome away to Jess. Today we have Brave Wilderness Jacks quilled by a porcupine. I never like porcupine. They look cute, kind of, but then when you. Uh, let's dive on in. To me, they're cute. That is the North American porcupine. So that's cute. As look at that. Look at them eating them little leaves. Get ready. We're about to enter the spike zone. You little cute thing. <laughs> I won't get near you. I won't touch you. Oh, you but won't get I'll, near I'll admire okay. him from afar. Okay. Like, I'll take pictures of him. Mm hmm. But I won't, like, pet him. This morning, the crew and I fueled up and set off down rugged mountain roads into the high country of Montana. Oh, I thought it was about to say Arizona. Arizona, Arizona again. again. Okay. And proudly, the second largest road in North America, the Porcupine. This is true Porcupine territory right here. All these tall pines and hillsides. Perfect place for them to be rummaging around and and all this loose soil for uh, roots and berries and all sorts of delicious porcupine trees. Oh, look at that face. These black and white forest dwellers may look adorable them. and cuddly, but as we all know, and I was about to experience, they're equipped with nature's reactive armor. Yeah. Just beneath a layer of sensitive guard hairs, face. you will find thousands of barked quills that will make any would-be predator think twice about considering the porcupine He's like, I'm cute, but don't test me now. <laughs> I've never seen <laughs> that before me. in the wild. I never worked with a porcupine, so for me, this is going to be a really unique experience. Now, the reason I'm able to get so close to this porcupine is because it was actually raised in captivity. So this little guy is used to being around humans, oh, okay. and sometimes cameras. And this oh, okay, is the second cool. largest rodent that lives in and That's the only reason why he's not Trump spiking only that. Trumped mm. cousin, the beaver. Now, porcupines have incredible claws. They got four claws on the front and actually a vestigial thumb, which allows them to quickly climb up trees to evade predators. Mm. You can't get to a tree mm. in time. What they do is exactly this. Show mm. the rump side and all those quills. You get your nose close to that, and it's going to be a face full of spikes. Mm -hmm. Today, my goal is to intentionally get quilled by a porcupine. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to get quilled by a porcupine. I'm going to show you the right way to remove these painful barbed quills from either yourself, or in most cases, from the snout of your curious pet. Now I'm being told that when I perform this example, I'm going to get close to 40 or 50 quills in the back Ooh, of my hand. Jesus. I hope you guys mm. enjoy this at home. <laughs> this <is not> <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy this. Their quills are nothing more than modified hairs, and they continually grow over the life of the animal. Mm. The only one who is going to experience any discomfort is me. I'll tell you where you don't want to get quilled in the face. That would be pretty bad. Alright, what I want to do is agitate those guard hairs, and then he should thrust his tail up into my hand. Ooh. Are you ready? Uh, I love oh you. god! I, just, I was sticks. scared. I thought I was supposed to do One, it just now. Two. Ooh. Yep. Mm. Hi. That's that was fast! Now the ones on the top of my hand really aren't that That was so bad. fast! It's those ones right there. Can you see how deep those are into my finger? It hurts to move my finger right now. Hi. I mean, I think they touch bone. <laughs> it hurts a lot. That was Whoa. very fast. That was. To get out. Those two are going to be extremely painful. Well, I got a handful of quills here from my little friend the porcupine right there. I'm going to show you guys how to get these. It was like bone. How to get your hand or your dog. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty painful. All right, come on. I feel like it'd be more likely the to happen to a dog. Hurts. Oh, They'll yeah, just go after it. Yeah, I know. Now, it's most likely that your dog is yeah, going to get quilled by see. a porcupine. And, you know, you might think, oh, I'm just going to pull that quill straight out. It's not going to work. These have microscopic barbs on the end. And Ooh. one of the cool techniques of the porcupine quill is that once it's in there, it works deeper and deeper and deeper. So you want to get these out as quick as you possibly can. Wow. And you're just, like, calmly to go explaining out this. And get yourself quilled by a porcupine. And the reason that I did this today it's is simple. to show you how to remove quills from your hand. See, and the reason that I snipped off the tops of all the quills is that it actually releases pressure inside of the quill, relaxes the barbs, and now they should release out of my hand a bit easier. Okay. And what I want to do is gently grab the quills, twist them, and pull straight up. I'm twist gonna and the pull. Okay. As deep first. I want to get all those barbs and those little points out of there uh, because they can't cause an infection, and that's Ooh. the last thing that I want to happen. Or a mountain lion, you bear, dead. <laughs> or coyote, you got a face full of these quills. I mean, it's debilitating. I can barely move my hand, and these animals wouldn't be able to then go out and continue hunting. Right, they're got, they're finished. And I can see why eventually this could cause a large predator like that to die. Woo! My hand hurts. I okay, bet it does. These are the last three. It's not like a band aid. And you don't just pull it off. You just pull these out. It's gonna rip all the skin out with it because of those mm. tiny little microscopic bars. Yikes! <sighs> okay. I'm you look like he's scared of you. And pull straight up. That's the goal. Ooh, 
one is deep. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that was deep. That was deep. You see your blood pop out. Jeez. Uh, blood pouring out now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get that shot with the blood? <laughs> oh my gosh. You get that shot with the blood? Yeah, that really hurt. Okay. Okay, next one. That looks deep too. You good? Mm. Oh. oh my gosh! That was really oh nice. my gosh, that real I like that was like I could feel it pulling all the way out through the skin. Ooh. Ow. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean that oh. was buried into my hand up to the white. That is a Good God, that is long. Yeah. And he cut out huh? It yeah. went all the way down oh, though. Oh, the story. Do not get quilled by a porcupine. I won't. I hope you guys learned something here today. Uh, yeah. If you are ever quilled, snip off the top, it will release the pressure, grab, twist, and pull, pull it out. I'm Heidi Peterson. Tell me why I got that the hair is Stay wild. on his hand. We'll see you on the next event. <laughs> hey, Logan, why you didn't get like, the other quilts right here? I'm about to say those little tiny ones. Get those. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to his hair. <laughs> look, at the, look at the comments. Hello. Oh, this was like three years ago, guys. Two oh, years ago. Oh, was? I didn't yeah. know. So my people are like, why isn't this a TV show? It needs to be. It needs to be on um like uh, Animal Planet, Planet yeah. or like Discovery Channel or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. So that like, cause there's a lot of people that agitate the wilderness. I uh, know. Like, didn't even know this. Just stuff. for fun, like they're just like, oh yeah, wanna see me do this? And then they end up dying because mm -hmm. of that. It's but, so cute, but I can't hug it. That's what I'm saying. It's so cute. That little face was so adorable. We saw it eating a little leaf. Mm -hmm. It was so cute. Yeah, it was. I know. <laughs> you always be looking like you find everything cute. I know. Coyote, today I'm going to be I'm going to be bit by a lion. Lion bites. Cameraman. Oops, I forgot to film. Can you do that again? All right, I always please, wondered that. Man. Like, did you, did you get the shot? No, I, I didn't get it. So you put your quilt back in. Like, I wonder if that ever I'd happened. I'd be upset. Like, if if they ever like had the like, oh, the camera died. Like, yeah. well. That's it for footage today. I'm not yeah. doing that twice. I'm nope. not doing it twice. Yeah. But anyway, guys, please comment below. Subscribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Some more, guys. This is.